afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? All right, so since this is on, on video, um, I, I have to show a video. Um, and I promise this is only one or two videos, uh, and it'll, this one should hopefully keep you uh, awake after that nice lunch. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this. And this, this went even more viral because you know, there were so many people saying, I wasted five minutes of my life watching that. <laughs> so first understand what the types of video. Right? There's, the, you know, there's the, the premium stuff, the stuff that is pushed out, um, professionally done, version produced, you know, Bollywood in, in, in uh, LA. Uh, then there's the, the web videos, right? which are still sort of, they're like prosumers. You know, they're they're you know, amateur, but not quite, not, not quite with a the handphone cam, um, and then there's the user-generated stuff, right? The stuff that people use their their handphones and take and, and home videos and things like that. Now, when we come from a user's perspective, there's different reason, you know, there's different, there's two different kind of engagements with with, um, with users. One on the on the on the left, um, your left side, uh, is escape, right? They they want to be entertained, right? <coughs> might load up, you know, they might load up uh, some some show. 
um, they might do, you know, look, you know, look at some, some nice even YouTube content, uh, things like that. There's things that they interact with. Then there's they're seeking for something. They're trying to understand how to do things, how to do that, how to, um, how, uh, you know, how to find out some information that they didn't know about. Um, and this gives a bit more about their interest, right? That when they're actually actively looking for, for you know, how to, you know, how to go somewhere, how to do things. You actually then actually understand a bit of their interest based on the content that they're actually viewing. And it reveals a lot about them. It could be news, trial information, you know, uh, professional talks, um, things like that. So as I said here. Monster for online video equals advertising. It is not the end all be all. We know that there are companies that are making money from subscriptions. We know that they're making money from pay per view, pay per episode, those kinds of things. And it's not just you know it's not just about that this sort of video. This is the kinds of things that are, are out there. Um, the in yellow are, are what we call pre roll, just like just like a typical TV, right? There's pre roll before the show comes on. Mid roll somewhere between shows, there's a break, and then they show the, the commercial, uh, another mid roll, something like that. But in between, there could be overlays, right? You could, you, you, you've seen it on, on TV itself. You watch it, and there's an overlay of this, and there's a little, you know, they talk about a car driving across or something like that. Um, there's bugs. So bugs are like the little things in the corner that's more only for station ID, but sometimes I do use it for, for other things. Um, you know, in, in page video, um, in banner on the video. Uh, watermarks you know, in the background, um, skin themes all around the player, um, so, and, and you know, ultimately, you know, there can be a lot of things, but the ultimate one is the branded content. The green line, you know, online is more effective uh, at reaching. I mean, they, you know, is it, you think, more favorable because there's other things around it that you could actually get on and, and click through and find out more information? Um, sometimes it's targeted, right? So, yes, it's more relevant because it's targeted. <laughs> You sit there, you don't think about it, but hey, you've been looking at cars you know, a couple sites back, and now you're being shown a car ad. 